So I will send it to you as a file on Discord here. Uh, what I want you guys to work on, let, let's just quickly go over it, I guess. Um, so, let's see. Thomas, you can reread things such as like the don't get tabbies early, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 exactly. And like the flake yeah, yeah. you. Um, mm -hmm. Face check. Uh, be careful. Place, be, better safe than sorry. I think a big tip, these things that I said in random factors, for example, is um, instead of trying to make plays, you should focus more on, uh, on what's it called? Oh instead of trying to make plays, focus more on the enemy trying to make plays. Like, the exact same things that you guys are doing, the enemy is doing. So as much as you want to think, like, yo, my elo is shit, um, the reality of it is, for example, Welcome if I'm diamond one Summoner's right now, Rift. the reality of it is, I'm a diamond one player. If you're silver three right now, you're a silver three player. You know what I mean? And that's a good thing in two ways. One, uh, being honest with, your, with yourself and knowing that you need to spawn. improve. And number two, um, just like understanding that these people in your hero can actually be relied on as well, right? So if you're playing support, or if you're playing ADC and, you're, and your support always sucks dick, um, number one is maybe they don't completely suck ass. Uh, and like, maybe they suck during lane phase, right? But then later on, they might like pull out some clutch like hooks. And then so that's what I mean. Like, you, like people gotta realize that these players that are doing bad also don't want to lose. You know? Yeah, like, look, they do bad some games, but you guys play some, play bad against teammates. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, mute your teammates. Uh, work off of the enemy's mistakes rather than try and make your own plays, and that'll get you so much fucking elo. Just play super safe. I want you guys to mm -hmm. not like spawn or always be thinking about like. Who can we kill? I want you to literally like get into the mentality of like, what lane can we push for pressure and CS? Cause that'll get you so fucking, so far. Yeah, um, I get that. Yeah, like, you know, you know the number, I think it's, it used to be like 14 CS for a kill. It might even be less than that now because you have to consider a cannon minion. It's worth like 70 or 80 gold. Well, it scales really fast, but yeah, like 12 to 14 CS is a kill. And, 12 to 14 CS is not only a kill, but it's also much more pressure than a kill early game because the enemy can also miss CS. Later on in the game, CS becomes less important and uh, kills become more important. They, they, they swap, right? They swap places. So, okay, okay, okay. you know okay. what I'm saying? So, I mean, obviously, like, CS is still super important in the game, but you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. So, yeah, I always shove the wave to turret if possible. Like, Tom, Thomas and I went through these. Went through this one game where we killed the enemy in bot lane and we would shove the wave to turret and go B. We did we did that play twice. So we killed them, shoved it ASAP, and went straight B. We didn't hit the turret even a single time, twice. And then the third time we killed them, we were able to go all over the turret. Right? So it was like it was like that was like perfect macro play, and then we swapped ASAP. Um, so trying to think of what is the best plan um, ahead of finishing objective. If you don't have to remember all this stuff, like I'm gonna finish it in no time. Um, try to think like ahead of what you're finishing. So for example, if you're finishing bot turret, I want you to force yourself to be like, okay, what should we do now? Should we go for dragon? Or is that a little bit risky? Can we just go B and then go to dragon? Or should we finish this turret and rotate right away because dragon is dead? Um, and that you'll just have to fig figure out over time because it's very situational. I can't be like, okay, uh, it's a water dragon, so don't even fucking go for it. Or like, oh, it's an infernal dragon. You got to go for it right now because if you don't, then the enemy team is going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. For a lot of League of Legends, you just gotta play. Oh, uh, what about fighting so on, um... Flavors. What about fighting on, like, Drag or Baron? That's called... Okay, so what they say in League, the term is, like, dancing. So, like, the Baron dance or, like, the Dragon dance. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's like a back and forth. So, it's, it's very much about... Uh, even though a lot of... Okay, you probably don't realize it, and a lot of people don't realize it. Those fights are very much about the like micro shit that you do positioning wise because eventually someone's gonna make a move, a, a literal fucking like one click and then because you're a human, you're just gonna be like, oh shit, this guy looks kind of isolated and you're gonna jump on him, right? So proper like micro movement will set you up for winning that fight. But prior to that like little clicking shit, you have to set yourself up properly uh, macro wise. So again, I'm, I was trying to explain to Thomas ma macro micro. Um, for example, when you guys started the game out, Thomas, you should have been with your with your team because 
I don't think to uh, Tony was trying to be with the team specifically. He was just running to the middle of the map, right? Like the second you guys spawned. Mm. Am I right, Tony? You weren't really looking to like be with the team. It was more so just like I get to the center of the map, right? Like, yeah, and in place you were in that bush, and then yeah. some lonely victim comes to jump on Hit him? Exactly. 